Hi, Todd Bourne here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather week ahead. And uh, for the most part, smooth sailing for most of the week. Watching a couple of disturbances, so one which will graze the area tonight. You can see it producing some snow across parts of the western plains into the uh, central and southern Rockies. This is going to, to continue to progress into the middle of the country. Uh, but we could see some of the bottom of this uh, skirt its way into the northern edge of the Arklatex here uh, later on tonight with a very small chance for a quick shot of uh, some rain uh, for the northern edge of the area. Show you that with future, future cast here in a second. Meantime, for most of us, most of tomorrow should deal plenty of sunshine. As you can see that quick shot of rain there indicated with future cast lows tonight will range from the upper 30s north to the mid 40s south. 47 tonight in Natchitoches, 45 in Shreveport, 43 degrees for the nighttime low in Texarkana. Nice rebound tomorrow, although not as as warm as we've experienced over the last couple of days. We'll see highs uh, basically in the low to middle 50s across the northern parts of the area. 55 in Texture Canada, but 61 in Shreveport, mid 60s across the southern edge of the area, including 64 in Manny and 65 for the daytime high tomorrow in Natchitoches. Now here's a look at Futurecast taking you through the next couple of days and you can see that we will see uh, again quite a bit in terms of clouds during the nighttime hours tonight. Here's that quick shot of rain by midnight. You can see the rain associated with that disturbance getting closer to the area. It skirts across the northern edge of the region very late tonight into the very early morning hours tomorrow. And by mid-morning, that rain's pretty much done and sunshine returns as we will see most of us again enjoying quite a bit of sunshine uh, for your Wednesday. We will see a mostly clear sky tomorrow night and Futurecast shows our quiet weather pattern will continue for Thursday with more sunshine for the most part. A few high clouds in the mix and we'll see a mix of sunshine and clouds for Friday. In the longer range, our next best chance for more widespread rains will likely hold off until the beginning of the weekend. You see the first disturbance, which will produce some snow across the Midwest. It makes its way on up towards the east. Here comes the next disturbance. This one taking a little bit more of a southerly course, a little bit more upper level support. As a result, we will see uh, some rain across the region very late Friday night through Saturday. Doesn't look like a whole lot of rain. I'm not too concerned about thunderstorms at this point, although a rumble of thunder will be possible mainly across the northern sections of the area. This disturbance will clear and then we'll settle back into our quiet weather pattern to close the weekend and begin next week. You can see this disturbance here across the west coast by next Tuesday. This will also skirt its way towards the east and bring more rain to us uh, starting Wednesday with most of the rain and a few thunderstorms possible as we look ahead to Thursday. So here's how all this plays out in your seven-day forecast. You can see that we will see quiet conditions through the rest of the work week with uh, cooler conditions as well. Lows eventually in the 30s, highs in the 50s and 60s. Notice that we will see uh, that chance of rain Saturday, uh, 67 despite the rain for the set high Saturday, and then we'll stay in the low to middle 60s for highs. Lows will settle into the mainly the 40s with nothing much more as far as rain until the last half of next week.